So in running for, for office, I've had the chance of meeting people like Norm and David, and their, their stories are, of course, inspiring. But I've also met some people who are, uh, who are hurting under this stagnant Obama economy, and their stories are heartbreaking. Some people have lost their jobs. Others uh, are working two jobs just to make ends meet. Some used to be uh, middle income, and now they're struggling again right back where they started. As you know, the prices for gasoline and food and clothing and health care keep going up, but their paychecks stay the same if they're lucky. President Obama keeps telling these Americans that the recovery is here. But for them, the recession is not over, that's for sure. You know, from, from generation to generation in this country, Americans have always known that the future would be brighter and better. We've always believed in a tomorrow full of poss possibility and prosperity and security. That, that deep confidence in a better tomorrow is the basic promise of America. But today that promise is being threatened by a faltering economy and a failed presidency. To the millions of Americans who look around and can only see jobs they can't get and bills that they, uh, that they can't pay, I have a message. You have not failed. You have a president that's failed you, and that's going to change. Now, president Obama seems to believe he's unchecked by the Constitution. He's, he's unresponsive to the will of our people. He operates by command instead of by consensus. In a second term, he'd be unrestrained by the demands of re-election. And if there's one thing we cannot afford, it's four years of Barack Obama with no one to answer to. So these days, you're the president and his team, they keep telling us that things are getting better. But 24 million Americans are still struggling for work. They're high-fiving each other in the West Wing. But my friends, the truth is, 8% unemployment is not the best America can do. It's just the best that this administration can do.